It's time now to shift focus on to our interview. The Crinums from the Free State are the defending Nepal Premier League champions and they're looking for a third title in a row. Hoping to stop them will be the Golden Fireballs and the Jaguars from Gauteng. The league was developed to fill the gap of professional women's sport in the country. Three years on and they have a competitive space where over 10 teams participate and even exhibition matches are held. To chat more about the league is Shadeen Fanamava from Gauteng Jaguars and Zan Marie Pina from the Gauteng Golden Fireball, Fireballs. Rather. They join us now. A very good morning to both of you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I'm going to start with you, Zamari. Can you just tell us, because you guys uh, secured a victory over the Kingdom Stars um, this past Friday. Do you believe that your team will be able to dethrone the Crinums? I think so. I think we're very privileged to play against them, and we're looking forward to the challenge. They're always a good team to play against, but I think our preparation was very good, so I'm looking forward to it. Uh, Shadeen, just tell us a little bit about what it means for the sport of netball to have something like this league now in its third year. This league is really great and it's a great exposure for netball in South Africa and it, it exposed players to, from a younger generation to look forward to netball in our country and it develops a lot of players to like, develop in skills and like, improve and so that we can perform internationally at a high level. Uh, and are you already seeing that? Are you already seeing the, the fruits of this league? Yes, I think so. I think like a few players of us went to England as well. They were able to participate there. But if we didn't have the Brutal Fruit Nepal Premier League, we wouldn't have been able to participate in such a big league. And it gives us a better like standard to rate ourselves against each other. And then from that, we can only become better. And what I also love to see, not only the fact that you guys are having exhibition games, but that there's so many people that fill out the stadium, that actually come and support. And what's great is that you've got youngsters that are also part of the crowd. Yeah, and the, that's the youngsters is that's looking up towards netball, and not just netball, but as players, as um, idols. And that's why we need to top up our game and we need to intrude the younger players for them to play netball in the future. The Golden Fireballs, what is your, your goal for the season? Because I'm sure everybody has uh, got their eye set on the Crinums from the Free State because they have been dominating the competition. But your goals as a team? I think um, we just want to stick to our game plan, um, what we've been training hard at. And we've, we want to become a better unit. Um, not necessarily, the win is very important. But if we can improve as a team, um, that is for, it's a w way better than just winning the game. So I think for future, we will just improve on that. What about the Gauteng Jaguars? Yeah, well, there's always room for improvement. And um, still in the early stage of the Brittle Fruit League, um, we can always go back every week to improve on what we can work on that went wrong in the um, weekend's game. And that's great. We're also looking forward to playing to get in the semifinals and then in the finals, but we still need to win all the games to get there. You sure do, and it's, it's going to take a lot. I mean, tell us a little bit about uh, the preparation because uh, you guys are quite busy during the week and then obviously it's uh, traveling and making sure that you're ready for the games of the weekend. Yes, it's very important and um, I think that's where the whole team needs to stick together and it needs to be, you need to commit um, because of the traveling and stuff like that. So then um, th that's when it's important for us to know our goals and what we want to do, like reach the semi-finals and even finals. Um, but we just plan week to week and not so far um, in the future. All right, there's the beautiful Brutal Fruit a Netball Cup a Premier League. There has been one twice by a free state side. I've got uh, two ladies here representing Gauteng teams. So other than the Crinums, who are some of the very difficult sides uh, in the league? I would say like all teams are highly good players and I think the, the intensity of the game has proved so much over the th three years that the Brutal Fruit League went on and I think like the Flames, especially from North West, <clears throat> they're still a young team but they, they've been playing throughout from the first year till now and um, also I would say the Stings as well, they're good but I think really like there's a lot of players that's equally good, that's why the teams um, Competition is great and that's why we, that's, it's good to play against great players and great teams so that you can high up your standards. What would winning the cup mean for the Golden Fireballs? 
Um, I think we, we haven't won it yet, so it will obviously be a good thing. And um, we challenging each, each other, Jaguars and Fireballs, as the Gauteng team. So w with Gauteng being such a big province, um, it will mean a lot because we haven't, you know, we've been not been able to. We've been in finals, the Jaguars, but not yet the Fireballs. So it will mean, yeah, it will be great. Well, they call Gauteng the home of champions. So there's a lot of pressure on these two teams. You guys have come so close before as the Jaguars. I mean, what would it take to go that one step further? Yeah, well, we've been playing in the finals for the last two years. Now we <laughs> end up second. So really, third time lucky, we hope. But it would be great that like, the two Gauteng teams play in the final this year. Two Gauteng teams. Okay. The challenge has been laid for the Golden Fireballs. Looking forward. Shadeen as well as Zamari, thank you very much for coming into studio and just chatting to us a little bit more about the Brutal Fruit Netball Cup. It is a platform that uh, provides our netball players here in South Africa with an opportunity to be exposed not only to competition but also an opportunity for them to better their skills as you've heard from our two players here in studio. Uh, we have got fixtures. This is what's going to be happening in round three of the competition. They've had two rounds of fixtures. Round three will be uh, taking place and it all starts off on on a Friday evening when the defending champions, the Free State Crinums, go up against the Northwest Flames. The Gauteng Jaguars, they will be up against the Eastern Cape Allos. Is that going to be quite a tough match for you guys? Yes, like I said, like all teams are bringing up the standard and it's good, just it's great preparation for the week after that as well. We're playing, I think, the, the Flames. All right, okay, well, that's what we can look forward to when it comes to the Netball Premier League. It's all going to be happening in Pretoria, right? Yes. All in Pretoria. So that's, if you are in the area, you'll be able to go down there. Really a great evening out with lots, as you can see, of a Netball action. That's how we conclude your sport in this hour. Let's now, oh, not just yet. I still need to link to her. Thank